In this video I want to explain and demonstrate my approach to testing keyboard speed so that I can refer it in future videos and avoid repeating myself. First of all we are discussing gaming mechanical keyboards which have two main parameters. Switch type, there are two types of switches available slower mechanical switches and faster magnetic switches. And also we have a pulling rate. The pulling rate can range from 125 Hz, which is slow, to 8000 Hz, which is fast. Mechanical switches tend to be slower compared to magnetic switches, because you can adjust the actuation point of magnetic switch from 2 mm to 0.01 mm. In contrast, Mechanical switches do not allow for this level of customization. So, if you are seeking for the fastest gaming keyboard, you might want to consider keyboards with magnetic switches instead of mechanical ones. The pulling rate refers to how quickly your keyboard sends signal to your PC. Essentially, it indicates how often, within one second, the keyboard register and transmit your key presses to the computer. Pulling rates can range from 125 Hz, which is typical for standard Bluetooth office keyboards, to an impressive 8000 Hz, which is currently the fastest available. If you are in the market for a high-performance gaming mechanical keyboard, look for one with an 8000 Hz pulling rate. Now, the most serious and fun part of the video. How to test and confirm the speed of the keyboard. For the actuation point, it's simple. Just set the lowest possible values for actuation point and rapid trigger. For the pulling rate, it's much more complicated, because it's impossible to test this parameter at home with 100% accuracy. So, if you need a 8K, you just need to believe it. Before I show you how I am testing the pulling rate of the keyboard, I need to explain what we are actually trying to measure. The pulling rate is a timeline that ranges from 125 Hz, the slowest possible rate, to 8000 Hz, the fastest possible rate. This corresponds to the delay in milliseconds between key presses, indicating how quickly your keyboard reads and sends signal to your PC. Essentially, we aim to capture this delay and based on the value we obtain, we can determine the pulling rate. For example, 8 milliseconds corresponds to 125 Hz, 1 millisecond corresponds to 1000 Hz, 0 0.125 milliseconds corresponds to 8000 Hz. And take into account that you can't physically see or recognize 0 0.125 millisecond delay, you just need to believe it. As of now, there is only one application available for downloading and use on Windows PC, and this is a keyboard inspector. No one knows exactly how it works, but if you press several keys in safe mode for 30 seconds and switch the binning rate to 16K for 8K keyboard, you may notice a spike at the end. This indicates that the keyboard is capable of operating in 8K mode, but it's not for sure. I'm trying to create my own application on .NET with the help of ChatGPT that can measure like a sequence delay between events and present this data in an easily readable format. My logic is that if the keyboard can show at least several delays close to the declared values of the appropriate pulling rate, we can conclude that the keyboard can perform at the pulling rate at least sometimes. I'm using three auto solenoids to hit the keyboard at a speed of 20 hit per second per solenoid along with three fingers from my own hand. For example, in this scenario, the Keychron Key2HE can sometimes achieve a 1000 pulling rate, which indicates that this keyboard can indeed work with a declared 1K pulling rate. For my second test, I am conducting a gaming experiment using three solenoids. One for the strafing left, one for the strafing right, and one for the firing. I am adjusting the settings for the actuation point and rapid trigger from the default to the middle and then to the extreme low. The aim is to demonstrate the difference in the holes patterns on a wall in the game Valorant, highlighting how the actuation point and rapid trigger settings can influence accuracy in the game. 
One more practical test is to measure the delay between the physical press of a key and the first visible reaction on a screen. However, for keyboards with an 8K pulling rate, it doesn't make much sense because for 120 FPS monitor, there will be always a one frame delay between the key press and the reaction. Not for kids. As you can see on the slide, even with the slowest pulling rate, there is only a 8 millisecond delay between a keyboard events press and release. This 8 millisecond delay is exact the time between frames on your 120 FPS monitor. Theoretically, when you press a key, you should see the results on the screen immediately. However, in practice, there is a slight lag, typically 2 to 3 frames before the action appears on the screen. This is why we need a keyword with the fastest pulling rate. However, I doubt that you would notice a significant difference between a 1K pulling rate and 8K pulling rate. Our monitors cannot display that many actions at once. Humans are not capable of producing that many key presses, and Windows cannot handle accepting that many inputs. Just think about it. You would need to press a key 8000 times per second to use this 8K pulling rate. Feel free to give it a try. So my current progress of testing, I already done with Mate 68, 80K 68, Win 60, K2 HE and M68 version 2. And yes, I can confirm their pulling rate of 8K and 1K appropriate. In progress, I have Fun60, A60, Nano68, Ying63, ND63 and other keywords. I'm gonna to do a test and show you. And yes, Wooting is working on 100, 500k pulling rate and actually pressing the keys before you even think about it. Okay, so how to select the fastest keyboard? Check your budget. Select appropriate keyboard with HE and 8K. Check your favorite blogger that 8K is true. And start killing all enemies in Valorant X8 faster than before. But with one small nuance. You need to believe.